Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff and I'm not home right now, which is obvious, but the show must go on. So let's get started with an Oracle card message for Gemini. What is going on with my Geminis at this very moment in time? What does Gemini need to know? Alrighty, let's see. And don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you enjoy this reading. Alrighty, we have brownie protection. I love that this is the first card that comes out. I feel like you're taking fresh brownies out of the oven as we speak. You could be listening to me while you're baking or eating brownies or sweets. But I feel like um, the sense in your home baking or cooking a certain dish is welcoming a protective energy. So I feel like you had um, a mother or grandmother, a great grandmother who uh, used to make a certain food and you're making it to bring yourself some kind of comfort feeling because you are protected but to create that feeling of protection around you if that makes sense because you could be perfectly protected and still feel anxious and scared but in order to create that feeling of comfort that's like um making an area feel homey like if you just moved and you're hanging up things and putting your sense around to make it feel like home we have stag beetle tenacity and Ren, awareness. I was gonna say Warren for some reason. I don't know what Warren means. Over energy is fly disease. Yeah, calming your anxiety a, a surrounding something. I feel like you got security cameras or a ring doorbell just to make you feel safe and comfortable in a new place. I feel like you got a new home or a new apartment or whatever. You just got, you moved in somewhere new. And I feel like with tenacity, you're like, I feel anxious, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You're like, by any means. I'm not gonna let my anxiety stop me from taking on this new job, moving out to the city, or moving from the city to the uh, suburbs or country. It's like you're out of your element, but you're doing it anyway, because you're not letting your anxiety get to you. But I feel like you're learning how to calm it. You're aware of it, and you're like, you know what, I know I'm safe, but in order to make me feel safe, I'm gonna do things to make me feel safe. But let's see how this connects to the reading for Gemini. A message for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? I feel like those things were simply just to ease the mind. Nothing to be concerned about. You're in a safe area. All right, we have the Six of Wands. Victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement. Yeah, so I feel like you just got an upgrade. I just keep getting upgrade energy for every sign. Everything's just going so well or it's about to turn around for like every sign. I feel like you're moving into a new office, new job, or relocating into like something better for you, safer, nicer, a new place. I feel like the area you're moving into is just quiet and safe. All right, we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're walking away. Some of you could be moving out of the city to like a more suburban or country area. Rural, I should say rural, right? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. You could be moving into an old home, that a family home. It's been in your family for generations or moving back home to your hometown. I feel like you're moving somewhere that's um, comfortable and safe for you. With the Ten of Pentacles, you could be visiting family at this time nine of wands but some of you could be leaving the comfort of your hometown and family because i feel like you're used to having the support of your family or maybe you have family members in high places and you're walking away from that overall energy is the eight of wands yeah you have so much coming towards you rapidly and the eight of wands is fast paced movement forward or a rep rapid messages coming towards you and i feel like okay so that's why you feel a little anxious because things are moving quick i feel like you get this promotion or this reward and you have to move fast i feel like you're relocating for a job honestly and i feel like you're having to um leave behind family and your comfort zone in order to create your own legacy, your own Ten of Pentacles. Because we all come into this life with inheritance. And I feel like you come from a rich background. But you're going off to create your own generational wealth to pass down. 
even though the one you already have can be passed down, you want to create your own as well. If that makes sense, clarify this for Gemini. I just feel like it's time for you to create your own legend, your own story. I, I feel like you don't want to feed off your family's success. You want to create your own. You don't have to do that, but it's very honorable, very noble of you. I just feel like that's what you want to do. Clarifying the Six of Wands is the Six of Wands. So success is the only option here for you. I see nothing but victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement. Your success is protected and secure. This reading just wants you to know right off the bat, the first card for the Oracle cards is brownie protection, then the Six of Wands for this deck, and then the Six of Wands for this deck. So you have nothing but su success here. Your success is protected. You are protected. You're safe. You're good. That's what um, Spirit wants you to know. I feel like you feel anxious with dis-ease. And Spirit just wants you to know you're good. You're safe. I know it's a lot going on. It's a lot moving really fast. But it's moving fast in the right direction. It's nothing but success for you. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. This person could be praising you. Or you could have Earth in your chart. I feel like you're just your hard work paid off. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Knight of Cups. So you're walking away from a love offer. You chose work over love. Don't blame you. Six of Swords. Yeah, letting go. Yeah, you had to let someone go. I feel like you were dating someone where you were living, but you had to let that go to focus on work. I don't feel like it was anything too serious. I mean, there's no like hard feelings. There's no love lost, but it's just you, you are ready to move on, you know. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles is the Five of Pentacles and the hermit card virgo so you're leaving a virgo or you two are separating i also feel like you're coming out of hermit mode i feel like in hermit mode in hiding you weren't gaining as much wealth and abundance by yourself i feel like you need to be out in the spotlight that's where you grow right now especially the moment you step out of hermit mode you get all this growth in hermit mode you get the five of pentacles you get a drought you get lack but when you step out into the spotlight, you get the Ten of Pentacles. So it's time for you to come out of hermit mode. I feel like you've been in hermit mode for a purpose. Of course, I feel like that's where you want to be because you're anxious. But it's time to come out of that. I feel like even your intuition is telling you that. Because the hermit is about trusting yourself, your inner wisdom, inner guidance, and isolation. But I feel like even in isolation, your intuition is telling you you got to get back out there. Because it's it's become too much. It's like the moment you step outside of that, you attract everything you want. Clarifying the Nine of Wands. It's the Three of Wands. Right after I say that, Three of Wands. Because the Nine of Wands can be guarded, feeling guarded. But it's also the card of perseverance. So I feel like you force yourself out of this hiding and you get the Ten of Pentacles. You get the Three of Wands. You get the Six of Wands. You get the Eight of Wands. Everything that's been on hold for you, every, everything that you've been manifesting in hermit mode is just coming at you. Or the moment you leave this Virgo and you move on, move on to focus on you, everything starts coming at you. The Eight of Wands, just rapid fire, everything that you've been manifesting. Knight of Swords, winning at all costs. Yeah, I feel like you're uncomfortable, but you go for it anyway. That's what the Nine of Wands is. The a Wounded Warrior card, the card of perseverance, like no matter what I'm going through, whatever is up against me, I'm going to keep pushing forward. And then to be clarified by the Knight of Swords, winning at all costs, energy gets you the Three of Wands. Your ship's coming in right between the both of them. And it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot of blessings left and right. A lot of opportunities left and right. Job offers at all these great places. I'm seeing at least three to four job offers at places that you would love to work at. I feel like offers to, and all of them, at least three out of those four jobs are offering to relocate you, helping you sell your current home for you to move out there like ASAP. We have the Page of Swords. Yeah. You're, you're being seen by a lot of people. A lot of people are eyeballing you. So I, I feel like for a while you've been sending out your resume and you've been hearing nothing back. But the moment you step out there and put yourself back out there and make yourself more public on social media or whatever, as soon as you start stepping outside the house, all of your offers start coming in. People start handing you flyers like, hey, do you want to work for such and such or are you good at uh, computers? Like randoms just coming up to you for no reason. You walking down the street, you're at a coffee shop and you just get a job offer. And you're like, well, where was all this energy like a month ago? I feel like you've been hiding, manifesting it. 
I feel like in hiding, you're the five of pentacles because your inheritance, your destiny was always to be in the spotlight. That's how you get your inheritance is being in the spotlight. You're not meant to act like a Virgo. Because Virgos go into hiding and you know, any sign can, but I feel like you are meant to be in the spotlight. And when you try to go into your, that Virgo energy, it just, it drains you. If, if you go into it for too long anyway. All right, right now you're meant to be out. I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.